Right now, various organizations are stepping in to help deal with the country's ongoing youth unemployment crisis. The Transport Education Training Authority is one such organization, and it plans to take its Empower Youth program countrywide. The program has helped thousands of young people find jobs by exposing them to real business experience to help find their passion and turn it into a career. Now, Sabelo Mbugu from the Transport Education Training Authority joins us now to tell us more. Mr. Mbugu, thank Thank you very much for your time here on ENCA. Just explain to us how exactly this program will be able to assist. Will the Education Training Authority, uh, the Transport Education Authority, uh, uh, for instance, assist with giving vehicles to students to be able to deliver food, maybe? All right. Um, thank you so much for me, and thank you to the viewers of ENCA. Um, basically, when we talk about this specific program that is Empower Youth, um, which is um, supported solely by the Transport Education Training Authority, yes, you might use uh, the vehicle um, as, 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 as a way of taking the message across to young people and then allowing other institutions of similar interest that will be coming in to actually facilitate and create or align young people to various opportunities that are available in various industries. So if you look at Transport Education Training Authority as one of the 21 seaters, our responsibility is to facilitate skills development and training. So precisely that is what we are doing in this province in Frey 8, um, starting from tomorrow, uh, and until Saturday, that is 26, 27, 28. Mm. And how many exactly students will be uh, will be able to benefit from this? Is this the first time that it's happening, for instance? Uh, if not, how many benefited last year, and how many are you expecting to benefit this year? Um, this is a continuation of a program that has been running over the past seven years. Mm. But then TITA was significantly involved last year um, in May, uh, that is an event that was hosted in Orange Farm, which attracted over 10,000 to 15,000 young people that were then connected to various opportunities um, in different industries. And as we speak, um, those young people are connected to various businesses, and some of them have started their own businesses, um, including last mile delivery. So there's quite a lot that has happened since then. But then in October last year, we then moved to Guiani in the Limpopo province. That is where we attracted over 1,000 young people that were also exposed to various opportunities that are available. You're looking at various learnerships. All right. Um Mr. Mbugu, it looks like you've muted yourself or something's happened to your device. We've just lost your audio. Because obviously young people that are coming in from rural areas, they get an opportunity then to be exposed to these companies that are coming on board to offer these opportunities. And then tomorrow, which is the 26, 27, 28, we will be in Frey 8. Similar concept, attracting young people uh, to expose them in tourism, health and wellness, forestry, transport. So all of these, including mm. agriculture. So all of them then will be able to get opportunities that they can choose from. Mm. And just lastly, Mr. Mbugu, um, do you have any positive stories of uh, some of these young people actually ending up owning businesses, uh, no matter how small, after this particular program? Look, I mean, the, the last mile program is one that comes to mind quickly because a young girl who has trained a new venture creation program that we offered as well as the, 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 the license for a motorbike, then she started her own business after the training um, and connected with one of the you know the e-commerce industries where she was able then to do deliveries in her own community but she did not stop there because she had a motorbike she then made use of the motorbike to make sure that she connects um with with people around and started selling i think she was selling eggs and delivering them into various homes and for us this was a good story 
and a young another young person who started a business after receiving a motorbike she was he, he was able to then start deliveries for abokoko um, in various in various communities trying to create convenience so for us we are seeing value especially when young people start taking up this very seriously and mm. opening up their own businesses and becoming their own bosses Mm, and of course, also uh, probably also being able to appoint people so that they uh, contribute to our solution to our unemployment crisis. Sabelombugu from the Transport Education Training Authority.